Hello, my name is Kane Munro. Today I'm talking about business and life advice in song lyrics. So just what are today's lyrics? Now last week I spoke about stress and with lockdown 5.0, now back in Victoria, there are even more stressed out people across Australia. There are over 10 million people currently locked down across Australia. Now, vaccination was seen as our way out of this pandemic last year, and here we are halfway through the next year, and less than 13% of us are vaccinated. And yes, vaccinated means two shots, uh, and for the record, I am actually double jabbed. Anyway, back to stress. Those four stress busters that I mentioned last week, eating healthy, exercising, getting plenty of sleep, and giving yourself a break, I'm gonna go through them in more detail today, as it may help some of you during this time of stress. Now, eating healthy. Foods can help tame stress in several ways. Comfort foods like a bowl of warm porridge actually boost your levels of serotonin, a calming brain chemical. Other foods that can cut uh, levels of cortisol and adrenaline are stress hormones and it can take the toll over your body over time. A healthy diet helps counter the impact of stress by shoring up the immune system and lowering blood pressure. Now, all carbs prompt the brain to make more serotonin. For a steady supply of this feel-good chemical, it's best to eat complex carbs, we're talking cereals and whole grain breads here, uh, which take longer to digest and not simple carbs like sugars. Now, sorry for anyone who follows a strict paleo or keto diet, but I'll get to some more foods uh, for you guys in a second. Now, oranges make the list for uh, their wealth of vitamin C. Studies suggest that this vitamin can actually curb levels of stress hormones while strengthening the immune system. In one study of people with high blood pressure, uh, and levels, high levels of cortisol, a stress hormone, uh, these returned to normal more quickly when people took vitamin C before a stressful task. Uh, spinach, cooked soybeans, and a fillet of salmon are high in magnesium, uh, which assists with fatigue, headaches, and stress as your paleo stuff. Crunchy raw vegetables can actually help ease stress in a novel way. Munching celery or carrot sticks helps release a clenched jaw, and that can ward off tension. Hey, even chewing sugar-free gum can keep things uh, nice and loose in your jaw, which is an issue. Now, two, exercising. Besides changing your diet, one of the best stress-busting strategies is to start exercising. It is literally what I'm about to go and do now at 6 a.m. Aerobic exercise boosts oxygen circulation and spurs your body to make fuel chemicals called endorphins. Uh, you're going to aim for about 30 minutes of aerobic exercise three or four times a week. Now, any uh, aerobic activity such as a rousing game of tennis or a hike in nature can con contribute to this same feeling. It reduces the negative effects of stress. It also leads to positive effects in your body, including your cardiovascular and digestive and immune systems. Uh, they get boosted to help protect your body from the harmful effects of stress. Exercise really is meditation in motion. Now, exercise can also improve your sleep, which is often disrupted by stress, depression, and anxiety. So now on to sleep. Getting plenty of sleep is important. The fact is that stress and anxiety can cause sleeping problems or worse than existing ones. Too little sleep affects your mood and can contribute to irritability and sometimes even depression. Now, here are a few tips to help you practice a good sleep hygiene so you can wind down both your body and your mind and get to sleep. You try to go to bed and wake up at the same time every day, even on weekends. For me, that's 9.30 p.m. Be mindful. Shortly before bedtime, try a relaxation strategy that incorporates maybe some mindfulness, some deep breathing, or even some meditation, all of which boost sleep time and quality. Turn your screens off early. The blue light emitted by digital devices, including TVs, phones, laptops, and tablets, can throw your body's internal body clock off. So avoid them before bedtime. Try to find a tech-free way to wind down because that can help soothe stress. It could be taking a hot bath or shower to relax. Going from warm water into a cooler bedroom will cause your body temperature to drop, naturally making you feel sleepy. Sex will also help you de-stress as well, but it does require the willing assistance of another human being. Maybe easier said than done sometimes. You can count sheep in that instance. It might sound silly, but it really works. The reason being, when you keep your brain focused on one thing, one, two, three, uh, can help your brain power down. You can also try focusing on your breathing consciously by taking deep breaths in and out until you feel calmer. If you've been having trouble falling asleep, after 20 minutes of turning off the lights, or if you wake up and can't fall back to sleep in 20 minutes, get out of bed and do something relaxing until you feel sleepy like that. A cup of tea or a book. I did this last night when I had a blood nose. 
Uh, give yourself a break if you start to feel stressed out, or even if you don't. In this area of multitasking, we endure increasingly, uh, increasing tension at work and at home. In our efforts to accomplish more in the same amount of time, we often eliminate breaks from our work schedule. But research shows and indicates that short, frequent breaks actually help us get more accomplished by reducing stress and helping us concentrate even better. When you get lost in your work or feel frustrated that something isn't going well, you can actually neglect your breaks. Now here's some tips to prompt you to regularly step away and rebuild your energy. Agree break times with your workmates or, if you, or housemates if you're now working from home uh, during lockdown and help each other to stick to the break time you've agreed to. Set an alarm on your phone to prompt you that it's time to have a break and plan to do something in your break that you enjoy to do. The anticipation of pleasure will actually motivate you to keep to that break. Pay attention to any benefits you experience when you take a break. This will lodge in your mind and motivate you to take breaks in the future as well. Even use post-it notes or drawings in your workspace to remind you to take a break, anything which will prompt you. While it's not, realistic to, it's not a realistic goal to plan to dodge all stress, proactively doing what you can to reduce it is a great strategy for when it inevitably comes. Now, hopefully these tips will help you reduce your stress. That's all for this week. I'll be back with another song lyric with business and life advice in it next week. Until then, stay safe, stay well, and keep an eye on your stress, especially if you're in lockdown. And maybe, if you can, get the jab.